The Department of Energy has adjusted their SEER testing on air conditioners and heat pumps to more accurately reflect what's going on inside homes across America. New M1 testing procedures are going to force today's 2022 14 SEER systems down to 13.4 in 2023, rendering it inadequate for use in America. What's being amended? Fan off delays on the air handler blower motors, limiting the area of the evaporator coils being tested, raising the external static pressure level to almost real world levels, the method for how they test and calculate heat performance on heat pumps, and a better testing methodology for variable speed systems. A little bit about the term M1. You know how you make a multi-level list for a document like an AHRI standard? Like, one, we are the DOE and we have the authority to blah, blah, blah. A, blah, blah, blah. B, all the way down to M, which is the style of testing before 2023. And then M has a number under it M1, the new style of testing that we're moving to. The Department of Energy has regulated residential air conditioning and heat pump efficiencies since 1992. An average size home can use over 2,000 kilowatt hours of electricity each year, causing the average power plant to emit around 3,500 pounds of carbon dioxide and 31 pounds of sulfur dioxide into the air. We finally got everyone to realize that systems today use 25 to 50 percent less energy than those installed just 20 and 30 years ago. The DOE did that by increasing the required minimum SEER ratings of systems and doing so through a strict testing process. Just since 1992, we've gone from a minimum 10 SEER mandate to 2006 upgrading the minimum rating to 13 SEER. 10 years later, in 2015, every state in the Southwest and Southeast were required to step it up to 14 SEER minimum efficiency since the summers are more intense there. So here we are, seven years later, faced with higher standards. Actually, it's understandable that the DOE wants to bring the standard of testing to meet real-world situations and the upgraded technology of the equipment being used in today's systems. After all, doing this increases overall efficiency again by another 7% by switching to the M1 testing. Which is why distributors with today's 14 SEER systems will not even be able to sell those units after January 1st, 2023. Heat pumps have a little different rule as far as what can be used and for how long, but they'll still have to meet 15 SEER 2 after they all sell off. It's just that 14 SEER air conditioners will dwindle away probably by September or October because distributors can't just send back the old units, right? They have to time their inventory just perfectly so that they don't have any 14 SEER units by January 1st, 2023. From what I can see in the Southwest and the Southeast, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, and three and a half ton split systems will be required to have a 15 SEER 2 minimum. Northern states that are at 13 SEER now will be at 14 SEER 2, while Southern four and five ton unit minimums will be 14 and a half SEER 2. Northern units will still be required to meet that 14 SEER 2. All heat pump efficiencies will be required to meet 15 SEER 2 after January 1st, 2023. So what you're going to see is 2022's M standard 16 SEER systems and technology become the new minimum standard since they'll be rated 15.2 under the new M1 style of testing. That means the new minimum tier system is going to become even more expensive than the current 14 SEERs, which increased about 25% since the beginning of COVID in 2022. Let me know your thoughts on this. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.